What is up everybody? I am back with another thrift haul. I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys. Lots of stuff, lots and lots of stuff. Um, all of which, not all of which, most of which have a very high sell through rate. Um, some of which are $25, some of which are like over $100. So can't wait to show you guys all of this stuff. And yeah, let's get started. I'm actually gonna start with one that is not 100% sell through rate, however, seems to be performing well on Poshmark. And I thought with as high quality as it is that I would take a risk and they are a pair of shoes. Um, can I show you the brand? It is called, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Low Effler Randall. And I did some comp searching on this and I could tell on eBay that it was a very high dollar brand, uh, but on eBay, not the best comps. These are in really, really nice condition. Nice high quality leather. Um, I only paid $5.99 for them. Um, I think based on Poshmark comps, which is where I think these are going to sell for, uh, or sell on, I am going to list those for around $50. And I don't very often do that, but I will sometimes do that uh, with pieces. I'll take risks on them, even without a 100% sell rate, but usually only if I know I'm gonna get a pretty big return on investment for it, so something to keep in mind as we are going through. Next up is a Meadow Rue by Anthropology new with tags top. This is also a size large. Can you see that? It's a really gorgeous, gorgeous top. Um, anything Anthropology in a larger size I usually get because they tend to sell really quickly for me. Um, I'll probably list that for around $35. This is a brand Nikki found. I have never heard of this, but I just did a comp on this and it actually had a really great sell through rate. Wallaco. These are a size extra, extra large pair of men's athletic shorts. And these ones are new with tags. Um, even with it being new with tags, I still think it's only going to sell for around uh, 25 to 30 bucks, but with the sell through rate there, I am happy to have a really quick turnaround and a quick flip. Um, this is a Chico's size large, extra large, good size in Chico's. This is called the Trucker Cape. It also says Ruana and Pewter Gray. So lots of info. It's like a faux suede little like cape jacket kind of thing. This is like really heavy duty, really nice. Um, I have a very hard time saying no to Chico's new with tags because it usually retails for quite a bit. Um, we'll probably list that for around $35. Next up is Polo by Ralph Lauren. These are a pair of men's cargo shorts. I have really good luck with men's uh, Ralph Lauren cargo shorts in general. Some of them go for a lot more. These are pretty a plain pair of just tan cargos and these should go for about 30 maybe a little more than that next up is a lucky brand plus size top 2x this was 3.99 i think um any lucky brand plus size top as long as it's in good condition i will get because i can always slip it for about 25 bucks, which is what I'll list that one for. This is a Life is Good, one of my favorite bread and butter brands. I try to stick to the larger sizes. This is a women's XXL, cool little graphic t-shirt. This brand has an awfully big following. This one's long sleeves. And what does this say? I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. That's cute, I like that. Um, but yeah, I like picking that up in both men's and women's. Uh, this next one is an Athleta piece. This is called the Soho Squirt. And this is a newer style because it's got the style right there. Size six, and this one's actually new with tags. And I believe we're gonna list this around 35 to 40. I paid $6.99 for that. Next up, another Athleta piece, size medium. I can't remember what the style name for this was, but it is a wide leg crop pant and wide, wide leg and Athleta is performing really well for me right now. Um, I would guess probably 30 to 35 on that. 
another athleta piece size medium this is a really nice like drop waist kind of ruched uh, athletic dress again i'm sure nikki looked up the style name on that i don't personally remember it but i would guess uh, probably around 20 30 bucks on that this is j jill now this is going against um what i normally oh we got a little snag what I normally pick up in J. Jill. I'm going to see if I can get this free while I'm talking to you. Um, but I have noticed with some J. Jill pieces, if it's a large and up, again, I usually try to stick to a larger than that. Um, but if it's got enough going for it, I'll still get it. This one is inside out, but easy to show you. It is an open knit beachy kind of oversized sweater. This is really popular right now. I will probably list that for 30. And as long as I can factor stack enough with those, it's usually a good flip. This is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort Men's XXL Polo. It's also got a print to it. This brand's actually gone a little downhill for me, um, but larger sizes and a print, definitely going to get that. That should flip for 25 to 30. A lot of golf wear brands for me right now are performing well, but this one I used to be able to get a lot more for. Here's another one, same size, striped. Had this not been printed or that large size, we probably would not have picked these up. Um, Cause like I said, not 100% sell through rate on these lately without those factors. Same thing. Man, I got a lot of these. Here's another one. This one's a really nice print too. Uh, print in this brand definitely seems to up the value. Same thing with Foot Joy. Seems to bring a lot of value to the brand. This looks like Lily Pulitzer. Let's see if it is. It is. It is a vintage Lily Pulitzer skirt, size medium. Um, not all are made equal, but some of the vintage pieces can actually go for quite a bit. I'm thinking particularly the dresses, um, because if they're vintage, those really bright, colorful patterns um, aren't always available anymore. I'm not sure what she had this listed for. I'm going to guess 30 to 35, um, but always worth doing a Google lens on because some of those vintage patterns can be super rare. This is a Ted Baker London. This is a designer brand, size seven, um, larger size in men's. Can't remember what it translates to. It is a button up short sleeve shirt with a really nice pattern to it. Uh, Ted Baker is one of those that even though I don't see a 100% sell through rate, I usually pick up because it does hold a lot of value and I am willing to wait on it. 511 Tactical. These are a rip stop if I can come a little closer rip stop I'm gonna put that in my title um, which adds value texture uh, these are a men's size 40 so they're a little bit larger of a cargo short and have this little thing on the back too paid $4.99 we'll probably only list those for 25 that brand has also gone downhill a little bit for me so I'm trying to be uh, somewhat careful with it Athleta again, this is a size two. And again, I'm sure these have a name, but can't remember. These are a jogger style. Pretty much anything but the leggings right now, guys, are performing really well in Athleta. I would guess uh, 30 to 35 on those. Sometimes I can even get up to 40, depending on the style. This is a very specific pickup. This is Columbia women's size two omni shield hiking pants um, i'm very careful with columbia it does not perform as well as it used to usually the only time i'll get it is if it is a convertible pant which these are so very specific factor and one that i will put in my title those should go for 25 to 30. okay this is a fantastic brand in men's denim if you weren't aware it is diesel and in the men's department, they do make women's too, but in the men's, pretty much everything you grab is gonna do really well. Um, these are a button fly, really nice dark wash modern jean. And some of these styles are very, very sought after and can be like more rare. So you always wanna look them up. This one's called Viker. Um, not sure on this particular one, I can't remember, but 
usually I can get at least 50 bucks for those and we paid $8.99 for that. That might go for more than that. This feel very crisp. This is called Wool X Merino size small. Um, this brand seems to be kind of like smart wool where they make very minimalist like base layer type stuff. Any brand that's like that, at least the ones I've come across that make specifically like base layer merino wool pieces, always perform extremely, extremely well uh, for me. I don't think I've ever found a brand that doesn't. Um, I haven't looked that up. Nikki did that one. I would guess 35 to 40 on that. Okay, these next ones, like super shocked me uh, because this is a brand that I just pass over all the time. <laughs> and I did a comp on them only because they were linen. I was going through the men's blazer section and I saw that it was linen. I'm like, okay, linen's really popular right now. I'll give it a try and see if I can factor stack this up. The brand is Joseph Abbott. This is a size extra, extra large, which Normally blazers are like chest size, um, which usually this would indicate to me of a lower tier brand. But surprisingly, these did really well. Um, I only paid $4.99 for this. It is a Joseph Abbott XXL men's linen blazer. And these had a 100% sell through rate in this size and material. And they were going for at least $50. I'm gonna price mine at 50 just to get them to move. Um, but I feel pretty comfortable at 50. I actually found two of them um, so here's the brand one more time joseph abbott so if you see any linen joseph abbott blazers i can't speak to every size but i do know that the xxl is doing well i would guess pretty much every size in linen is going to do well um, but i just in general would look at linen blazers right now in the men's department i said this a lot but blazers are something i used to pass on because i didn't understand them Turns out there's not a whole lot uh, to learn. And once you figure it out, it's really easy to source through and a lot of people skip them. And blazers in general usually go for like 40, 50 bucks and up. So it is a category in my opinion, uh, worth looking into. Here's another linen piece. This is Sigrid Olsen. I usually only pick this up in, in linen. This is a size extra large, so a larger size. Pink little, mini dress uh 25 for that is probably what i'll list that for this feels like oh i was gonna say it feels like that chamois cloth but it's different this is british moleskin i believe when nikki comped this it was like a 40 or a 50 dollar flip size extra large never heard of this um, but one you might want to be on the lookout for because we wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't still having a good comp and it has that like chamois cloth feel to it this is a little shacket i believe it's men's um, but yeah i think i remember that being like a 40 to 50 dollar flip next up is another anthropology piece this one's by anthropology their house line it is new with tag size small retailed for 98 dollars this feels like silk really gorgeous floral it's also got a long uh, puff sleeve to it or bishop sleeve and yeah i'm gonna get that listed let's see i would have to check our comps but i'm gonna guess 35 to 40 on that this was a really good flip. Um, anytime I see overalls, I always look them up because more often than not, they are very valuable. This is a pair of American Eagle. These are crossed to heck. <laughs> I'm having a hard time showing you. Um, larger size, let's see, this is a size 20, so a plus size, newer label, American Eagle denim overall. And these, are new with tags. They retail for $90. Um, these ones I actually think we're gonna list at 50. They have a really, really high sell through rate. Um, and they've also got like a boot flare leg, which is really going to increase value, but definitely wanna be on the lookout for that if you come across it. These are Ariat's Ariat Pro Series like riding pants. Um, these are also called like I'm going to say this wrong, and those of you that horseback ride can can correct me, but Jodpurs, J-O-D, I think it's H-P-U-R-S. 
um, writing breaches, whatever. I put all of that in the title. Um, and my rule of thumb, because I get asked a lot what category these should go in, do they just go in casual pants or do they go in the like actual like equestrian riding like utility pant? Um, and my answer always is if they are actually made, if it's a brand that makes them to actually be ridden in like these are, then I put them in the riding equestrian pant category. Um, if not, and they're just made to look like that, I put them in the casual pants category. So I hope that clears some of that up for you guys. This is a vintage Bobby Brooks dress, size large. Um, I love finding stuff like this. This is a very mature, modest, midi maxi dress. You can't find a lot of these um, anymore. And the people that wear these will buy the crap out of them. This has some cute embroidery too. Um, and you can usually ask quite a bit for them just based on style alone which I really like. Um, we'll probably list that for around 35. This is a We the Free People. This is a size extra small, but it is super oversized, nice tie-dye sweatshirt. This feels like a newer style mock neck. Um, I would have to guess probably 25 to 30 on that. Next up is what I believe is a Lululemon dance studio pant. I'm getting better at remembering the Lululemon uh, style names as I go through them. Watch me be completely wrong on this one, but I think it's one of the dance studio pants. And same thing as Athleta, like, yes, leggings can still do well, but the stuff that you want to look for that's going to um, flip the quickest and bring the most money back is definitely going to be, you know, a wider leg, a boot cut, a flare, um, so that definitely is a great pick pickup. This is a size 2X Talbots. This is a sweater, but has a lot of value because it's plus size. It's a really pretty uh, rust color. Has the little buttons right here, and I believe it's a merino wool. We'll probably list that for 35. Picking up more than one item at once here. Okay, next up is another Lululemon legging. Um, these are very, very different. They've got like a neoprene fill to them. I will have to look these up. Um, my rule with the leggings is they better have the size dot because they're really hard to determine sizing. So I've been trying to find ones with size dots, but I will definitely have to look those up because they do feel almost like a, like I said, a scuba neoprene blend. Um, I would guess 35 to 40 on those depending on what the style is. Uh, this one is a free people movement size extra small, but again, a little oversized cargo pant. These are really heavy. These are really nice feeling. To be honest, I almost thought that they were 5'11s, even though they're free people movement. Um, these are super cute. I would guess 35 to 40 on these. We'll use the keywords like utility, um, cargo, things like that. Pull-on pants are another category I've been having a lot of luck with. These are a size extra small pull-on pant. Probably just 25, maybe 30 for those. Those don't feel super substantial, but they are a pull-on pant. This is a metallic, iridescent looking free people dress. I feel like this one's gonna be bring big money, but I'm not the one who comped it. Um, well, I'm sure we looked up the style name on this, but this is very cool. This would be great for like um, a cocktail event or you know certain themed parties. Um, but unique stuff like that from a few people always sells well for me. I would guess at least forty dollars for that, but we'll definitely look up the specific size or style. This is a Chico size three petite denim jacket with some really cool patchwork, um, I guess Japanese, Asian, Oriental um, embroidery. And stuff like this in Chico's performs well for me. I am probably gonna list up for 35. A men's Tommy Bahama 
size XL silk shirt. This one's kind of plain. It's just black. It does have like palm tree impressions on it. Um, this one will probably list for 30. That's another one that sadly has gone downhill. I still get it and just price it lower, but um, values definitely, definitely gone down for me on that one. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is, guys. Um, it's a black dress. There's no tag. Is this a joke? Oh, there is a, sorry. I could barely see it. It's hard to see, but there's an Athleta branding there, size medium. This is an athletic dress it is slightly faded but it's the same thing as before it's another style of that drop waist ruched um probably 25 to 30 on that this is a pure jill this one's just a size medium but it is a pull on pure jill pant wide leg crop these have been performing really well for us this one was only 2.99 uh it's probably 25 bucks on that guy Next up, another Lululemon. This seems like it might be reversible. Women's long sleeve um, top. This one feels very high quality and thick. We'll have to do a comp on that. I would guess probably 30 on that one. We've been having some really good luck with the bathing suits lately, and I would recommend if you're someone that passes on the bathing suits category that you do go look on it. Uh, you want to be very, very cautious of condition. You might have to look in some places you don't normally want to look, um, but it can be totally worth it because I find just like the blazers, um, bathing suits are a category that a lot of resellers are passing on and there's some really good stuff in there um, that you might be missing we found a ton of uh, lily pulitzer swimsuit one pieces those go for like 50 bucks pre-owned at least um, so a lot of really good money making items in there if you're willing to do the work uh, this one is coolabar this has been um, a brand that seems to have gotten better and better over time all their stuff is upf and this is a size medium women's one piece long sleeve swimsuit. Um, bra pads included. I don't remember. I want to say 40 bucks on that. We've been having a lot of good luck with those. And I just learned too, I don't have one to show you today, but I just learned that Coolabar makes um, UPF tops for women that look like really pretty office tops. And those go for really, really good money and have a crazy sell-through rate. Like, they're tunic tops that look really nice, but they're Coolabar. Fantastic. Um, 35 40 sometimes 45 bucks. So definitely want to keep your eye out for that brand. Next up is a Lauren Ralph Lauren dress. This is a size 18W, and it is polka dot. I will use, like, pinup and retro keywords with this. I find uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren polka dots perform really well for me and especially in a size such as that. And that one should probably be, I would say, I'm going to probably price it around $45 um, just with all those factors. Next up is another free people item. I know I showed you a lot of free people today, but we're actually leaving a lot of free people stuff behind just because it really depends on the style. Um, it's not like you can just pick up the brand anymore and roll with it. This is a more substantial piece. It is a long sleeve. Um, it's got some different things going for it. Nice pattern. Um, don't know the style name because I'm not the one who found that, but I'm going to guess a $25 flip on that. A Lululemon bra. This is probably going to be a $25 flip, maybe more, depending on the style. This is a front zip, which sometimes can add value. We will have to see if we can figure out um, the exact style name to that, but I'm going to guess at least $25 for that. And last item of this thrift haul, unfortunately, is not so exciting, but it does pay the bills. An Eddie Bauer Women's uh, First Ascent New with Tags, which is the only reason we got it. Slightly curvy size six shorts. 
Um, I do have to factor stack a lot with Eddie Bauer um, and also women's shorts. So Eddie Bauer, new with tags, newer line. Eddie Bauer shorts, definitely going to get. It's still probably only gonna go for 25 uh, to 30. These retailed for 60. So I don't think I can get much more than that, but it should still be a quick flip. That is all I have for you guys today. I think I am gonna jump into another thrift haul. I've been finding some pretty cool pieces. Um, you guys can probably see behind me we got a lot of stuff here. I'm about to fill the bottom of this again because we just got a bunch of wholesale in. So excited to show you guys all of the avenues that we've been sourcing and the different stuff that we're getting. And not this particular haul, but probably a few down the line. Hopefully you guys will start to see that we're focusing on a higher ASP and trying to increase that a little bit. Not by much. We like to do changes very slowly um, so that they stick, but trying to have a higher ASP um, and spend, you know, spend some time thrifting and being very careful and going to more places. And so far so good. I have been tallying up our average sale price um, as we've been out sourcing at the end of every day. It's really easy to do on Google Sheets. If you're putting in all that data, you just click and drag and down at the bottom, it'll give you your count. It'll give you your average sale price, um, your total for the day. So it makes it like super easy. Um, so I just drag and find the information there. Um, but on average lately, we've been averaging around just for the item itself, not including shipping, um, 37, 38, sometimes $40 days um, for an average sale price. And not to say we're not picking up $25 flips still, because we are, um, but we're trying to focus on only picking up the $25 flips if they are like a guaranteed 100% sell through rate, really solid pickup. Um, and yeah, we're still able to average, you know, close to a $40 average sale price. So hopefully we'll be able to continue increasing that and continue finding some more great items. But that's all I have for you guys today. That is what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.